Welcome. <clears throat> Hello. Good, good, good evening. evening. Good evening, <laughs> fellow tea connoisseurs, and welcome with my short, too short blazer. My name is Denny. And my name is James. And we'll be hosting this episode, to a special episode, episode 200, a yes. TV for your viewing pleasure. Uh, buenos noches. Buenos noches. I don't know that. Uh, yeah, I also, yeah, totally not the right context to be saying that. Um, we thought we'd dress up something a little special, special for y'all. Um, because... <laughs> because we never do it in real life, so... Yeah, and... Why the hell not? Yeah, James looking unbelievable in his uh, tie and collarless shirt. <laughs> is that your... Is that the... Um, uh, what's, what shirt is that? Oh, it's the... Uh, Yes, that's it's right. Classic. Odd Future Wolfgang Kill Them All, if you're wondering what that's the acronym is. Odd Future, sure. What are we drinking? So we have some tea that was generously given to me by Phil, Phil P-H-Y-L-L, who has a blog, um, who got it from a very kind lady in Malaysia named Sue. So Great. thank you to those guys. So this is a 2007 Chen Yuan Hao Lao Banjong. Okay. So... Uh, some fancy pants material. Yeah, seven years old. Yep, or uh, ten years old now. Two thousand seven. Yep. So uh, we will. Uh, yes. We will give this a rinse and then get to the enjoying. Fantastic. Wonderful. All right. So giving this a quick rinse right here. And <clears throat> clay. Yeah. Why not? We're, so. use, we're doing it for poor. Normally, we will use smaller vessel, vessels because we're doing smaller sessions, but specialty. Um, so, cool. Yeah, take a smell of that. Mm. It smells old, medicinal, a little bit funky. Those things will, I think, disappear a little bit, and we'll get into the heart of this. Liqueur was very light colored to start. Yep. So this tea was stored in Malaysia, mm -hmm. um, but uh, we've had teas from Sioux storage before, and they're very clean. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can see we're still getting some clear liqueur. Uh, Lao Banjong teas are known for being quite strong, so I'm erring on the side of brewing this pretty fast. Great. Uh, <clears> so <throat> if you guys are wondering towards my methodology, mm -hmm. that's what I'm going Got for. It. Good clarity on the yeah definitely the car little almost a little bit purple. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Cheers! This is gonna be hot as f. Salute. Cheers. Mm. Great texture already and nice sweetness. It's light. None of, <clears throat> there's zero funk on any of this. Really tasting really clean and pure. Really sweet. Mm. Look how much darker that is. Well, yeah, getting a little bit darker. <clears throat> Take another smell of this too. Yeah. So I made sure to break up the material a little bit, get it closer to some different chunks rather than like one huge chunk so that will help the tea to come apart a little bit faster mm. yum this is already a hit it's still lighter right. but you can tell that the tea is going to have substance to it yeah, it's absolutely. uh it's decently it hints at at a lot of strength Having a little bit of a hard time placing the sweetness, how to categorize it or what I would describe it as, but um, there's a nice saccharine sweetness to this. Yeah. Um, I almost feel like it's tree sap like mm -hmm. in some sense. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know. I, yeah. Keep on brewing it up. Keep on going. Keep on trucking. That's the story of TDB right there. Keep on trucking. 200 episodes. Keep on trucking. We're like, keep on pouring. It's actually amazing how little tea wear we've broken on the show. 
have we been anything on show? No, in fact, our have. guests have caused more damage to our things than we have. Damn you, guests! I know. Why do you think we're, uh, we're, we're filming 200 on our own? Yeah. TDB first. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. All right. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Darker even on the next infusion. Pure. Now we're tasting the pure, right? Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of herboid. I get a little bit of that menthol. Uh, it's a lot thicker. Um, the first evening didn't almost, it didn't have that sort of gasoline raw pure flavor. This definitely does. It's going to just get stronger, I can tell. Um, a little bit of mouthfeel, stringency. I definitely get some bitter uh, mm-hmm. for this right up front, and the bitterness transforms pretty quickly into sweetness. Uh, so pretty quick play gone. It's very clean. Uh, so despite this being stored in Malaysia, a place that you know is known to, mm. t- towards the hot and humid in, right. it's uh, it's not. I mean, we're not getting like a very dark color right. for this tea. Yeah, absolutely. Still got those hues of purple in it. It's got a really beautiful lingering um, uh, mouth mouth feel and mouth taste. Um, so yeah, quite a nice, a nice brew. It definitely has its potency already. I can I can feel the strength of this tea. Um, can't tell if it's a warming tea or a cooling tea per se, but um, wow. I'm mean, that's pouring slowly. Also probably because there's some tea stuck in the uh, the spout, neck of it. Yeah. yeah, the spout. But nevertheless. So you can't tell if this is a warming tea or a cooling tea, but I can tell you that this is a warming suit. <laughs> it's like I don't know how long we've been doing this for, but I can just feel the bullshit before it even started. Uh, I didn't even need to say anything. Uh, I knew. Just yeah. Fucking... Well, we've known each other for <laughs> over half our lives. Oh my point, god! So. It's uh, scary. All right. So you can just sense the sense the bullshit. Indeed. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Cheers. Mm, smoky, thick, really thick. It's Good mouthfeel. Yeah, it's like thick, but it's soft. Yeah, not it's not any more bitter or anything like that. In fact, it feels almost less bitter. This beer, mm, tasty. Mm. And a really nice, warming sweetness actually. So we are on steeping number f- five. I think this is. Right here. Mm. This tea has a really wonderful um, balance of the aggressiveness of Rapur that makes it so unique and, and enjoyable and something that grows on you and you, be, you learn to appreciate the different types of that sort of the strength of this type of tea. But it also has this really lovely softness to it as well. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's smooth in in some senses, but this is not a weak tea. Right, not exactly. a light tea. Yeah. Um, for me, I'm starting to feel uh, some of the tea's energy. I'm feeling a lot of warming heat mm-hmm. for me. Yeah. Uh, so for me, so far, the tea has been warming. Mm. Uh, yeah, this is a really really tasty tea, and it's not a newbie friendly tea. This isn't probably gonna pass the the mom test, but um, do we invent the mom test? What? Do we invent the mom test? I'm not sure. Maybe we did, but TM, I don't want to take TM credit for someone's work. Oh, man. It's got a really great aroma. I feel like it has that really nice woodsy, right. woodsy aroma. Right. A little more of that sort of menthol vibe in there now. Yeah, and you can tell there's a lot still left in this. It's definitely tea. a juicy tea. Um, cheers. Cheers to juiciness. Yeah. A little more tannins. It's mm-hmm. still continuing to get stronger. I know. Uh, yeah, just sort of <laughs> absorbing the, the strength of this tea. Um, I think the lightness of it is dying off a little bit, but I think we might get back into that in the sort of like four steepings from now. Um, the liqueur is now a brilliant orange. 
brilliant orange. Yes, that's a good way to do it. Um, and Denny, what do you think this tea would have tasted like when it was much younger? Bad. Bad. Yeah. Like too strong. Yeah. Yeah. This tea is 10 years old and still has some oomph in it. Um, so I would definitely, you know, yeah, I'd say erring on the side of aging, this sort of a tea is going to be a, a benefit, not a curse. Mm -hmm. um, Could have been one of those teas that would have tasted maybe a little bit better with lower water temperature early on. Yeah, yeah. And that's where, you know, interestingly enough, there's so much mastery that is involved in producing teas like this because no one's going to tell you, you don't have a 10-year taste test when you're, you know, combining material, source material for uh, pressing a cake like this. You just don't really know until you're, you know, in the future tasting it. Um, so these tea masters that have been doing this for a long time do have that knowledge through experience, and we get to enjoy the, the fruits of their labor and their their guesswork in a lot of ways. Um, so and this is a great tea today. Mm -hmm. I imagine that it will actually become an even better tea. I think so, too. Right. I mean, I think this is a tea that's <laughs> drinkable now, but will probably be much better than much better uh 20 years down the line yeah. or something yeah cheers guys cheers to 200 episodes 200 boom mm. body's dying down a little bit but there's still a lot of tannins to the tea i mean a little bit of a um stone fruit mm. fruity sweetness to this now Definitely, yeah, has the tannin mm -hmm. mouthfeel. It leaves a really strong aroma in the uh, cup, too. Mm. Getting more of those <clears throat> fruits off of that as well. Maybe mm. a little bit of those florals. Is... We're going to do one last one. Cool. This is definitely one of those teas that requires your attention. Uh... And while we're normally cracking jokes, I mean, we're always cracking jokes and being full of it, but still, <clears throat> this tea has quieted us a little bit more than average, I think, because of how much is going on inside of this tea, um, which is a good, a good thing. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just residual, the residual flavors are, I'm still experiencing, um, really tasty. How about the energy off of this tea? Are you uh, getting much of... Any warming or, or cooling? I think it's, yeah, I think it's, I think it is a warming tea for me. Um, sort of warming sweetness. Kind of almost like reminiscent of the roastedness. Roasted flavors have that sort of association with my tea, tea drinking experience, but um, there's not as much at all of a roast going on in this, but still it's sort of reminiscent of it. Um, let me get in here. Mmm. I feel like when I'm smelling this, I smell a lot of that sort of like, I don't know, I, I want to call it just like uh, tree sap, pectin, yeah. like woodsiness to it. And it still has that. Um, it's been pretty constant. Would you say that this tea is complex or or on the simpler end of the spectrum? I would put it on the more complex. Okay. Because I think there's a lot changing in this tea and there's a lot of high notes and low notes. This is the kind of tea that is does require a lot of attention to brew out because you want to make sure you're not overdoing it early on mm -hmm. where you could run through four or five steepings that might be really delicate, delicious steepings, but you're steeping it too long, too hot of water, mm -hmm. uh, whatever, maybe a little bit too much leaf. So being attentive to this sort of a tea, especially early on is important. Yeah. So you should not consume this tea in like you would energy drink to get sort of like a cheap caffeine rush off of it. <laughs> Although this could provide a significant <clears throat> rush of energy. Yeah. Well, and... Yeah, just having having brewed out teas like this that are going to be more powerful. This isn't going to be quite as forgiving as a tea of a tea in general. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. But cheers, cheers, guys. Mm. Really nice juiciness. The body is still continuing to be substantial. I think it's getting more earthy. Hmm. More of that sort of branchy, low lower notes and stuff. Yeah, almost like. Yeah, like a fungal, really juicy. Um, mm. Hardy, hardy tea. 
and like loud. It's just a lot going on still. This has not died off. Let's do it. Mm. Yeah. Loud, but it's still well balanced. It's not uh, not crazy. No. Mm. More fruit. Yeah, for me. sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. This is the kind of tea that strikes me as a, a tea that's going to um, brew out for quite some time. I think so. Yeah. 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 The liqueur is still nice and um, orange on this, and this is maybe our what seventh. Seventh or eighth, yeah. really, yeah. Uh, and we've probably been drinking a little bit slower than we normally do for these episodes, but we're drinking pretty fast in, in the scheme of things, uh, and that's just to get through and cover a little bit more of the complexities of right. this tea. But uh, mm. I think the energy of the tea is really getting to me now. Uh, yeah. Feeling nice and energized. Exactly. Alert, wonderful, lasting sweetness in the mouth with um, still a little bit of a sort of tannin um, mouth puck- puckering texture, but I'm, I'm experiencing a more sort of deeper in my chest as well. Um, this is a great tea. Can people pick this up? This is kind of one of those I'm ones. Not sure. I, I haven't seen this for sale. It was given to me by a good friend, so the sample was. And uh, so, you know, I don't know. Uh, if you could, you could pick it up from a, uh, a different source, probably. Uh, but I don't know. It's it's a good tea. I'm glad to enjoy this tea with someone else that also enjoys it, and Denny. So, uh, uh, so I think that's a good way to just drink your teas. Drink it with good friends, good people that enjoy tea. You're all right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, I would have drink, yeah. drink it with my mom. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it's been 200 episodes. Thank you all so much for sticking with us and watching. Um, for you folks that watch every week and drink tea with us while we drink. Thank you, um, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, moms and dads. Will I can the tell my, and my otherwise. Yeah, <laughs> my tie looks terrible. We'll get a better one for episode three hundred if you stick with us till then. Yeah, good promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good promises. Yeah. Um, so, but you know, for your folks who are maybe this is your first episode you ever seen and you're just attracted to two guys wearing ridiculous ties. Um, Please check us out on tdb.org. Uh, we are posting up content um, weekly, bi-weekly, more than once a week, however you say that. Um, <laughs> uh, with joint episodes with James and I, as well as a bunch of um, in-between episode content and articles. Um, there, so subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Like the video if you like the video. Um, if you guys have some, some delicious tea you want to bring want us to bring onto the show, we'll definitely give it a taste. Um, you can email us tdborg at gmail.com to set that up. Yep. Send so, us your Japanese green teas. <laughs> We're yeah. still calling out. Oh, man. <laughs> um, yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's been a wonderful ride and we're going to keep on keeping on and drinking tea. Hopefully you folks will stay with us. Um, and uh, Any last words, champs? No, I think you covered it. Alright, until next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.